If you're looking to create a product bundle with your printful products, um, you're in the right place. So today I'm going to show you how to create three different types of bundles. One is using the simple bundles um, bundle type um, without variance. And then the second is using the simple bundles type with variance. And then the third is using the infinite options bundle type if you're looking to do something a little bit more complex. Before you start adding bundles to your store, you just have to make sure that in Printful you have all of your bundle items already loaded into your store. So here you can see that I've already added my t-shirt as well as my sock into my Shopify store. So first I'm going to show you how to create a simple bundle without variance. So this is just the, the most basic uh, bundle can get. So first we're going to go into our Shopify admin to create our most simple bundle. As you can see, I already have a couple presets for my product bundle. So I named mine Printful T-shirt and sock set um, using the simple bundle type without variance. Um, I have a couple images. You can leave the pricing empty for now because we're going to go into, sim to go into the simple bundle app to uh, modify this. And then also make sure that track quantity is disabled so that you can sell as many as you want. Now that you already have your product bundle built on Shopify, you can go into your Simple Bundles and Kids app on the left-hand side here. Click on Build Bundle and click on Simple Bundles. Since we already have an existing bundle product, you can go ahead and click Select Existing Bundle Product. If you don't already have one, then you can click on Create New Bundle Product here. So we're going to look for a simple bundle without variance. We're going to add that as a new bundle. And now we're going to start creating it. So since we're creating a very simple bundle, we only have two products in this bundle. So we're going to go ahead and click add product. I'm just going to choose this one option. This is the ash colored t-shirt in a medium. I'm going to add that as well as add the sock that was part of the bundle. So I'll just click on Heather Gray, large and extra large. So this is the only option that customers will have. Um, this is called a set bundle, which means that customers don't have any option to select sizes or colors or anything else. It's just that when they click on buy, these two products will automatically be added to their cart. So as you can see, the price of these two products added together is $59. And if I click on sync bundle price based on the value of its contents, we'll just take that $59 as the price. But you can also go ahead and add a discount depending on if you want to provide um, a discount on top of the bundle that you're providing, as well as um, you can also add the bundle compare at price to show that you're offering a 20% discount um, versus just modifying the price. So you can see now that my bundle price is $47.20. So we can save that. Then you can go ahead and test the bundle. So testing the bundle will take you to checkout to simulate um, what a customer would see if they added this product to cart. So you can see that this bundle has been broken down into two products, the classic t-shirt and the comfy socks. Um, without any sort of options offered to the customer. But if you want to allow the customer to choose the color, the size um, for the t-shirt and the sock, um, I'll show you how to do that next. So now that you've seen how to create a simple bundle without variance, I'm going to show you how to create ones with variance. So this example is almost the exact same as the previous one, except now we're going to allow customers to be able to go in and choose their sizes for their t-shirt as well as their sock. Um, so here you can see I've given the option for customers to choose large, medium, or small, as well as their sock size, small, medium, or large, extra large. Um, we can go ahead and save that. Um, but again, uh, remember that we don't have to add in the prices right now and also make sure that track quantity is turned off so you can sell as many as you like. So we're going to go ahead and click save. And then we can go into our Simple Bundles and Kids app to build our bundle. Now that we're in our Simple Bundles and Kids app, we can go and click Build Bundle simple bundle, and existing bundle product. We can look for our bundle that we just built on Shopify. And now you can see that all of the variants appear here. So we're going to use all of these variants to build our bundle. Okay, so now that we have all of our variants loaded in, we can start building our bundle for each of these variants. So first we have our large t-shirt as well as our small medium sock. So we're only going to stick to one color this time since we don't want to complicate this bundle. Here's my classic t-shirt. I'm going to click on the ash large, and then I'm going to find my sock, which is the Heather Gray small medium, and add those two there. You can see that the price of the two of them added together is $59. Again, you can choose if you want to add a discount. So say for example, I just want my bundle to be $50. I don't want to choose to sync 
nor do I want to update my compare at price. So this is just going to appear as a simple $50 for my, merch, for my um, customers. Now that I've saved my bundle, you can see that this bundle contains two items and is priced at $50 without the inventory tracked on Shopify. And we can keep doing that for each of the product variants here. So here, I'm going to select large t-shirt and large extra large sock. So here's my large t-shirt and my large extra large sock. Now that all of the child items have been added into each of the bundle variants, we can go ahead and test the bundle. But one thing that I forgot to mention is that you can also upload the items um, through a CSV file with our import and export features. So now let's click on test bundle. You can see that the customer has added a small t-shirt and a large extra large sock. Now I'll show you how to create a more complex bundle with more variants, more selections to choose from. Now we're on to building our last bundle type, which is the most complex. So that's using the infinite options bundle type. The reason why you would want to use the infinite options bundle type is if you have something a lot more complex that requires more than three options or more than 100 variants um, that Shopify limits you to. So this example is very similar to the previous two examples that I just showed, except we're not going to be using Shopify's um, variant creator. And instead, we're going to go into simple bundles and create these variants instead so that we can exceed Shopify's variant limit of three options and 100 variants. So again, for simplicity, I've already pre-populated some of my product information here. So I've created the t-shirt and sock site using the infinite options bundle type. Again, you can leave the pricing alone because we're going to sync that with simple bundles later and then make sure track quantity is again turned off. So here you can leave the variants off and I'm going to show you how to create that on simple bundles. So just to give you an idea of what this bundle looks like, since this is a bit more complex than the previous two, um, you can see that I have four different options. So this exceeds Shopify's limit of three options. Um, and for each of them, I have two colors, eight sizes. And then for the sock, I have two colors and two sizes. While in this example, we're not exceeding Shopify's variant limit of 100 different combinations, um, we can easily go, go over that. Say, so say, for example, you had 10 different t-shirt colors, 10 different sizes, 10 different sock colors. Um, you can easily go over that 100 variant limit. So here, if we add it to cart, you can see now that our items have been added in. And if we go to click on checkout, you can see these items have been added in as well. So going back to our simple bundles um, bundle editor, you can see that I've already pre-populated these products in here, but let me just delete these right now. So I can show you how I've added them in. So I can add products with variants. Here I'm going to add all of them in for my t-shirt. And then I'm also going to add in all of my socks. This is how your dropdown will appear to your customers. So here I'm going to quickly edit them as well. One thing to remember about the infinite options bundle type is that you have to add the option selector widget, which are the drop downs that your customer will see to your theme. The reason why you have to add it to your theme is because we're not, now we're not relying on Shopify's variants anymore. We're using simple bundles variants. So once you click on open theme editor, you'll be taken to your Shopify theme and just make sure that the bundle option selector is turned on here. If you turn this off, then all of these options here that the customer would select from would disappear. So in this video, I have showed you how to create three different types of bundles. The first one is the t-shirt and sock set without variants. Second, the t-shirt and sock set with variants, both using the simple bundle type. And the last one we created was the t-shirt and sock set using the infinite options bundle type. So let's add all of these to our cart. On the checkout page, now you can see all the chalk products that are included in each of the bundles. Once the Shopify order is submitted by the customer, you should also be able to see that on your printful admin as well.